This is Stephen, and this question is dealing with your knowledge of area and perimeter of rectangles. The question reads, a rectangle has an area of 110 inches squared. So let's just go ahead and draw out a rectangle whose area is 110 inches, or just 110. If the length and width of the rectangle are measured in whole inches, what is the least possible perimeter of the rectangle? So whole inches referring to whole numbers such as one, two, three, four, and so on. No negative numbers here or decimals. And the nice thing is, is when you have a rectangle with whole numbers as its measurements, such as four for the length here and two for the length here, or for the width there, the perimeter of this, four plus two plus four plus two, or six plus six, 12. All cases of these rectangles, the perimeter is going to be an even number. So what that does for us is it knocks out these two odd number answer choices, 21 inches and 27 inches. We don't even have to worry about them. So we're just left with 42 inches and, so 42 and 54 inches. So to start, we need to figure out the factors of 110. Some simple factors of 110 might be 55 and 2. So 2 times 55 is 110. And if we have those as the measurements of this rectangle, 55 and 2, the perimeter of that particular rectangle, 55 plus 2 is 57. 57 plus 57 is 114. So that doesn't quite work here. So if we do another set of factors, break that down, why don't we try 5, since 5 is a factor of 10. So 5 goes into 110 22 times. And if we have a rectangle with those measurements, 22 and 5, our perimeter will be 27 plus 27, so 54 is our perimeter. So that's answer choice D. But we need to make sure that answer choice C is not smaller, or it's not the correct answer. So let's look at possibilities of 42 inches. So length plus length plus width plus width is equal to 42. So what are some possibilities of this? Well, if we have the length in both cases equal to 20, then we have 40 added up here, so we have two numbers and two, we need two more, so one plus one. So 20 plus 20 and one plus one, those for the area, one times 20, area is equal to 20. So there's not really any way that answer choice C is going to work out. So our answer is D.